nothing on their faces, and some got infected. I didn't see anyone with umbrellas. I think I saw a few people with ponchos, or maybe big plastic bags that turned into ponchos. Fans huddled in covered areas, leaving the stadium seats empty. Then two and a half hours after the game was supposed to start, they heard this announcement that there would be no ball game. The collective groan was, let's try to play, let's stay a little longer, because it was still daylight out. Still, this cloud has a silver lining. California is in the grip of a terrible drought, and David Twasson says he welcomed the rain. Now he's getting ready for an Angels-Red Sox rematch. For the first time before a game in Los Angeles, I looked at the forecast this morning. And he's hoping that a Red Sox victory is in the cards. Secretary Ash Carter is in Israel. The focus of his trip is the nuclear deal the U.S. and other world powers signed last week. Grand. That deal is not going over well in Israel at all. But among Israelis, there's some division about exactly what message to send their high-ranking American guest. Daniel Estrin has this report. At a cafe at a mall in Tel Aviv yesterday, a group of Israelis was passing around the newspaper. The front page headline was in big Hebrew letters. Done. Death to America 